Here's our next proportional problem. We're going to redefine the numbers and redefine how they relate to each other. Fred uses 12 tablespoons of chocolate for every six cups of hot chocolate. Apparently he's making a lot of chocolate, hot chocolate here. Okay, so we have a 12 and here's a six, but it's written out. So our 12 is tablespoons. That's what the 12 means. And the six means cups. How many tablespoons does he need for 40 cups? Okay, so here we have another number, 40 cups. I believe I'm seeing categories here. We have tablespoons. Our two cups. All right, in the, in the very first sentence, there's our period, they have connected 12 with 6. So we've got 12 tablespoons for 6 cups. And in the question, how many tablespoons does he need for 40 cups? Okay, so we've got 40 here, but we're clueless about that. That's what they're asking for. They shorted us a number. We don't have a equivalent fractions here. We've got to decide what that number is going to be. So let's do our cross multiplication. And in, in this case, we would go 12 times 40 is equal to 6 times, we don't know. 12 times 40. We have 480 is to 6, what we don't know. Maybe box. This is an unknown. So in this case, we've got a perfect setup for what's called algebra. In algebra, we have our equations with the equal sign giving us two distinct sides with numbers. I always call this a wall. We have numbers on both sides of the wall. We really have to get our numbers together so we can figure out what goes in that box. This is a multiplication problem so to make 6 jump over the wall to get over here with the other number, we're going to do the opposite calculation, which would be divide. We're going to divide by 6. This is the thing that neutralizes this side. But whatever we do to one side, we have to be fair and do to the other. 6 divided by 6 neutralizes this. It goes to 1. So it's we have one box, so let me just put the box down there. There's one box, is equal to, this fraction says 480 divided by 6. So we'll do our 480 divided by 6. 6 goes into 80, 48 8 times, and 6 goes into 0, 0 times. So our box is 80. If we had 80 tablespoons, we could make 40 cups. Easy to check, we'll just put our 80 into this position. 12 80 is equal to 6 40 -ths. Let's cross multiply this time and see if our proportion is equal. 40 times 12 is equal to 80 times 6. 12 times 40 is 480. 80 times 6 is 480. You have solved your proportion. You got equal fractions. Equivalent fractions make equal ratios. And equal ratios gives us a proportion. So 
Fred now knows that he, if he wants to make 40 cups of hot chocolate, he'll need 80 tablespoons of cocoa.